Alrighty, so before the video begins, I'm going to obviously explain it throughout the video, but I want you guys to watch the video, right? And then come back to the beginning and answer these questions in the comments, right? Um, and also answer any of the questions that I ask throughout the video. One, what type of content would you like seeing from, not me, but in the Nikkei content creation space? What type of content would you guys see, right? Because the video is quite important to that question, so definitely watch the video. Two, do you feel like the content creation in Nikkei is all the same? Again, watch the entire video because you're going to have under more understanding of why I'm asking these questions when you watch the video. Um, and I think that those are all the, the questions that like I really want to know the most. All the other questions I asked in the video, feel free to answer them. But watch the video, come back to the beginning, and then answer those questions in the comments down below. Let's go. Alrighty, y'all. So if you guys have seen this video, um, it means that I'm probably going to start aiming for this. Um, not really aiming for this. This is something that I want to make a staple on my channel. So it's an update. It's a channel update. Um, and it's because I feel like the content on Nikkei is a problem right now. It's not like me trying to come after all the other content creators or anything like that. Um, it's nothing like that, but I really got this from when I was watching another content creators video. His name is Phantom Menace. It was the is Nikkei boring video, right? In the video, he said something that kind of peaked. Um, it, it was like, I think two months ago, he made this video. He'd said something that was like, I didn't think much of it, but I started seeing it more and more as for the last couple of weeks. Of course, for myself, since I am definitely one of those content creators he was talking about, and then also a lot of other content creators as well. But essentially he was answering the question um is nikkei boring right i think that video was actually inspired by me that he said in this video but then um during the video he kind of like said um he said let me let me pull it up for you guys all right so this is the video right here we're gonna take a look at what he said for a second here um now obviously my channel update is not happening because of this video but like the way he said it is kind of how i've been feeling lately about the content creation of nikkei so let me play for you guys I know you see the physics on deck. I know you see the physics, bro, going crazy. But yeah, man, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a few days since I posted a, a video. And I'm going to be honest, that's mainly because there ain't really been much uh, going on in the Nikkei space. No, no real uh, juicy Nikkei news, nothing exciting. And I'm not really the type to... Uh, post a bunch of filler uh, content, if you will. Y'all know what I'm talking about when the main content uh, runs dry and then the uh, the YouTube creators start making a bunch of random videos. That's not really my thing because I want people to come to my channel, you know, uh, for for a reason. Like, I want them to be like, oh, okay, they're getting... He said it perfectly. He said it perfectly what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, I'm definitely one of those content creators that when Nikkei runs dry, um, we get filler con I, like I start doing filler content. I'm definitely one of those content creators where when the content starts running dry, I start doing filler content. Right. But the thing is, my filler content is filler content that you see on other channels as well right which is surprising because it's filler content if that makes sense right the main content that every youtuber is expected to do the summon video the how to build the character video the initial showcase those videos of course you're going to get from every content creator but the filler videos that you see from all the content creators and i mean no disrespect when i'm coming uh, when i say this to the content creators including myself um the filler videos that you see from the other content creators including myself are the same somehow and that's kind of what he said there at the end where he wants to be known for you know he wants to be known in the nikkei space as for doing something else is kind of why i want to do this as well and what i've been noticing now this video came out two months ago this video came out two months ago and i watched this video two months ago but like i said for the last couple of weeks i've been seeing this more and more how almost my content is kind of equivalent to a lot of other content creators content and that's boring right and i want this is where i want the viewers you guys as viewers to let me know your thoughts because this is obviously i'm not a viewer in the nikkei space right when videos get recommended to me from nikkei i'll watch it maybe a bit of it um but besides that i don't go out my way to look for nikkei content i don't search nikkei content stuff like that phantom is somebody who's actually very known in my uh community right he comes out to the live streams pulls up in the comments all this stuff he's you know respect the guy a lot right 
Uh, so I watch his content as well, right? Because his channel pulls up a lot. And when he makes these comments, he's, it's kind of like, you know, his takes are very, very good as well, right? But what he said right there, when he said it two months ago, I didn't think much about it. But as of late, I've been seeing what he was saying. And then now it's kind of like, you know, catching up to me. So I want to change up my content because I want to be known for doing something different, right? Now, is it a problem that my content is the exact same as everybody else's in terms of the filler and the main content? No, it's it's not a problem at all. But do I want to be known for something else as rather than just another content creator who does guides and filler content when there's nothing else to do on Nikkei? Um, and what I mean by filler, it's not the filler that you would want to see, right? Like filler content would be me reviewing the brand new character or like an old character in the brand new content. That's the good filler that a lot of people want to see, but you don't get that. The filler that you get from myself and a lot of other content creators are tier list videos, right? Reacting to everybody's tier list, right? Whether it's a JP, Pride win, everybody's tier list, right? Even our own tier list, realistically, um, that's a helpful source, but it's filler, right? Because our opinions are always the same as Pride win as well. We Like it is, right? You're maybe you're getting a different uh, like perspective of this, perspective of it since we're doing the voting system um to rank our characters but it's always the exact same rankings as pride wins re realistically right um so like those are filler right maybe reacting to fan art or you know the care because i know 86 is somebody who's very known in the community as well you guys probably know who that is it's a guy who posts the stuff before they happen right the characters kits and stuff like that he uh, let me pull up his channel for you guys to understand right so like he, he would it's his a twitter account he would post like some stuff like this and you would get a video out of it, right like these are all the squads in nikkei right and then a filler video would be me making a video talking about all the characters in the squads in Nikkei, right? Or even this one where it's the character illustration. Maybe you guys are into this. I'm not sure. I haven't done these videos before. Not this one. At least I've done the squad woman, not this video, but this one, me talking about who created what characters design in the game, right? I feel like that's filler content. That's the filler content that Menace was talking about, right? Phantom Menace was talking about, right? I want to bring more of the entertaining filler and i want to be known for that as well right not entertaining filler but just the guy who does the entertaining videos right i want you guys to be able to click on my videos because you know when you click on my video you're going to have a good time and you're going to see something different right one thing in this space a lot of people in this space do not cover content on the older characters right um they're not forced to they're not obligated to but a lot of content creators don't make videos on the old characters in this game right i feel like a lot of videos that a, a good video that maybe you guys would want to see is a nice entertaining video of me trying to be a newer content with a older character maybe not the worst character in the game like crow but who's a character that's like quite old that nobody talks about because they're not the brand new character freaking isabel right me trying to be the new content with isabel or me trying to beat the new content with viper or me trying to be like me doing something different with these older characters something me doing something with sakura right that's not just you know ranking them on a tier list or reviewing how they were made or anything like that right i feel like those videos you get that from myself you get that from other content creators but you get that from too many people where it's just it seems like too much right and this is again if you're a viewer let me know your thoughts on this because i'm not a viewer this is just how i feel like it is right and especially since i've been seeing a lot of the videos that of course i've created um on a lot of other people's channels i'm not saying that other content creators go to my channel and then make the video there's no way we just because there's not much to do in Nikkei, or at least because not many P YouTubers are m putting in the effort. Um, I don't want to say putting in the effort. That sounded so disrespectful. I apologize. I mean, no disrespect. I don't want to say not putting in the effort, but I mean, a lot of other content creators are not, you know, doing these more unique videos. That's what I'm trying to say. More of these unique videos. I kind of want to, you know, be in that space where I'm known for doing more of these unique videos, right? I can say the most unique content creator in this space is probably um, Dr. Konoha EXE. That's because he's the only person who does EXE. There's another content creator who does the animations. Obviously, the average person can't just go out their way and do animations, right? That's something that takes skills and talent, right? Um, but they're known for that, right? I think his name is Mozan. I'm not sure. But Mozan, I think he's known for 
animations. He does the Nikki animations. You guys love it because it's something different. EXE from Dr. Konoha EXE. He does the EXE. You're not getting that from nobody else. It's entertaining, right? So I kind of want to be known for doing something different. Um, and I'm not gonna like, oh, majority of my videos are gonna be something different, but we're still gonna have those filler. No, I want to remove that from my channel, right? Me, these filler things that you're gonna still see from other content creators i want to remove myself from that because i don't want to just be another content creator making a video on this tweet another content creator making a video on this reddit post another content creator making another video on a website's rankings right i want to be more entertaining right a good example is nanogenics of what he does on dokkan but i'm not going to go in too deep into what he does but if you know who he is essentially he transcends all his content but still makes it of course regarding dokkan so he will have these entertaining videos Videos, but of the main category the main topic is of course still about dokkan you guys come to my channel because it's a nikkei based channel i think you guys are going to love the content as long as it's regarding nikkei if i did a very funny video but it was on freaking brown dust 2 the people who don't play brown dust 2 do not care but what does this channel and everybody who subscribed to this channel have all in common nikkei so i feel like if my content is more exciting more entertaining and it's not hard for me to be entertaining i'm sure we can all agree to that the most unique thing i have on my channel is the account viewer like a viewer account like how do i say it? the viewer polls like the me reviewing my viewer summons right that's more of my type of video nobody else in the space does that video um so that's more of like a zx thing and it's funny because obviously when people post scarlet i get upset when people pull insane multis i pull i get upset and the videos are just very entertaining and funny i have gotten a lot of comments of people saying you've just made my day thank you for this video this was great right it would be amazing if i could do that video every single or a video like that every single day and make somebody's day right not a video exactly like that but videos that are entertaining regarding nikkei like that and make somebody's day every single day rather than just hearing another youtuber say okay pride win said this character is in this ranking i agree with that the pros and cons why i agree with it and then thank you for watching the video that's it right i feel like there's so much more options or opportunities in the nikkei content creation space and now especially since i feel like a lot of the content is the same and again if you're a viewer let me know if you agree or you disagree it's okay if you don't but i feel like it, it wouldn't hurt for me to change it up right would it hurt for me to change it up would it hurt for me to be a different content creator in this space something that you know a lot of the other youtubers are not doing i don't think so i think you guys might want to see that so let me know what you guys think it's your boy zioxus and i'll see you guys um in the next one right but the next time you see a video from me maybe the next one might be like a regular video right because again i'm still going to have those simple videos i know i just try to end the video but let me just like clarify this i'm gonna still have those videos of me doing the initial showcase of the character maybe the summon video and that's it i don't know if i'm gonna do a how to build guide video for the new characters i don't usually do that um i do that sometimes but i don't usually do that but the brand new like you know the initial showcase and the summon video if i do a summon video those are the videos you're going to see from me of course because those are the mandatory videos right but everything else that might be known as filler content um like many said early in the video i think i'm gonna try to shy away from that just because there's a lot of people doing it already i want to be different i want to be known for being something different youtube is something i have a passion for so if nikkei was to shut down tomorrow if my entire channel was just based off guides and these filler videos after nikkei shut down you guys won't watch me no more but if my videos are more entertaining even if nikkei shut down and i went to a game similar to nikkei maybe you guys might still watch me because i'm entertaining a guy right i want you guys to kind of grow on me for being an entertainer more than just a guide creator so you guys let me know what you think it's your boys Yuxus, and i'll see you guys in the next one whenever i see you right we're probably gonna have that's it bro i'm not gonna try to end the video and then add on more right that's the end of the video let me know what you think it's your boys Yuxus, i'm out peace